I started DJing in 1990, and that's when I started developing my following. It was just one of those kind of weird things, right place, right time. The trance sound that I was playing just blew up. I know the connection I have with my fans, and that's kind of club associated. But it happens just walking down the street. And it's flattering, it's, it's great to know that you, outside the club, that we also have this contact. Prior to this, I went to uh, UC Berkeley, I was a student there. Oh, I just had a variety of different jobs. I was DJing like, on the side, and I could either take the leap of faith and quit my day job and risk everything and hope that things worked out as a DJ, or I could decide that DJing was just a hobby. Fortunately, I chose <laughs> to quit my day job. New York City is one of the most difficult cities to play for anywhere. That's in all honesty. I spent last week going through my records because it's got to be just right. Probably the first time I played Avalon, I fell in love with it. The DJ group is set up above. You drop down and you can see the crowd and you just immediately you get a feel for the room. For me, it's important to make contact with everyone in there.